Iran launching retaliatory missile strikes in response to the Israel Hezbollah attack. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes is live in our newsroom and has the latest. Rob. Yeah, Philip, a major escalation in the Middle East. Iran firing dozens of missiles into Israel, officially entering the fighting on behalf of Hezbollah. The skies over Tel Aviv lit up with missiles. Iran has just launched a retaliatory missile attack targeting Israel. This is what it looked like. Window shaking explosions there and near Jerusalem. It's not known if those sounds were from Iranian missiles landing or being struck by Israeli interceptor missiles. Israelis ordered to shelter in place. Israel and the U.S. have warned there would be severe consequences if Iran attacked Israel. Iran has taken responsibility for launching these ballistic missiles at Israel in a statement read aloud on state television. Now, there is no immediate word on casualties as fighting intensified and concerns of a wider regional war are growing. This comes a day after Israel said it began limited ground operations against Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. Now, there are no signs of the tensions easing. Israel has said it will continue to strike Hezbollah until it is safe for citizens to return. Hezbollah has promised to keep firing rockets into Israel unless until there is a ceasefire in Gaza. Now, anticipating more rocket attacks from Hezbollah, the Israeli army announced new restrictions on public gatherings and closed beaches in northern and central Israel. The military also said it was calling up thousands more reserve soldiers to serve on the northern border. Now, here in the U.S., the White House is mapping out its next move. Uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris are monitoring the Iranian attack from the White House Situation Room, getting updates from their national security team. President Biden directed the U.S. military to aid Israel's defense against Iranian attacks and shoot down any missiles that are targeting Israel. So it is a very active and fluid situation right now.